Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a really quick and easy video. I'm just going to show you guys how I style my hair. So, um, I've actually had a couple of requests from family members and friends to share how I style my short hair. It is a pretty much just like a long bob. It's just longer in the front and short in the back. And I absolutely love it. It has lots of layers in it. Um, I, I love this haircut. And actually my friend did it for me. Her name's Taryn. And I will have her um, Instagram probably down here below. Go follow her. She's really great. And she did a great job. So yeah, um, I just wanted to shout her out in this video. And show you guys how I'm going to curl my hair today. So let's do it. So the iron that I use, well actually, first of all, I should say, I use a straightener to curl my hair. I do not use a curling iron or a wand just because I don't, I don't like it. And now that my hair is shorter, I just find it's a lot easier to just use like, oh, a curling iron. So this is the one that I use. It is, got hair on it. Excuse me. Anyways, this is the one that I use. It is the Bioionic 10X, and I absolutely love this iron. It is so good, and it is kind of expensive. It's not the cheapest thing out there, but it works so well, and I absolutely love it. And I will link it down for you guys below. I actually got kind of lucky, and I got mine on eBay, so I didn't have to pay um, the higher price tag. I think... I paid maybe like 130 or something for it, and on Ulta it's like $230, so, but it's really good, <laughs> and it, um, the plates vibrate, and it actually adds a lot of shine and vibrancy to the hair, it is like one pass results, like I can pass through my hair and straighten it one time, and it is perfect. And when I curl it, it just takes one pass and it's curled beautifully and it lasts for a super long time. And my hair it looks healthy, it's not fried. I absolutely love it and it's so worth the money, I think. And if you guys want to check it out, I will have it linked down below. But other than that, I want to go ahead and show you guys how I do this. So, let me turn it on. And it starts out being at like 280 and it jumps really, really fast. I'm going to set mine to, uh, I'm going to set mine to 360. I don't want to do like a full, um, 400 degrees because your hair usually doesn't need that. And so this is actually, um, three day hair, three or four day hair. I do not wash my hair every day, y'all. I just, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered to wash my hair every single day. Um, but I do wash it about like once a week or so, maybe twice a week, it just depends, and I use a lot of dry shampoo. Like today, I have a lot of dry shampoo in, and that's the tea on that. So, now it's hot and it's ready to go. I always section my hair. I have like a little clippy right here, and I'm going to section it, I might do it like three times. So the first section I take from basically like the top of my ears and I grab all of that and I'm just going to pin it up here. So right here, this is my first section and I'm just really going to focus it um, right here in the front pieces because really the back is honestly so short you're really never going to see it. Um, pretty much at all. So I'm going to section the hair. Not a big section. Maybe like this. Like wide. And I'm going to angle the. I'm going to angle it down. Clamp it. And flip it. And follow down. And you can see. That is like one pass and it was so quick. That's what I really like about using a iron instead, a straightener instead of like a curling iron is that I feel like you get this style a lot quicker. And again, I'm just like angling it down, flipping it over 
and running it through. And I should mention you guys like doing it on second day, third day hair, it's so much easier to get the style you want because your hair has like some grit to hold on to. So you see on this side of my head, so my left side, I always end up having the barrels facing up and grabbing the hair. Just because it's comfortable for me, so they'll be facing up. And then I'll flip it back away from my face. And there you go. Section it one more time. This time I'm going to take it from my temples up. So now we have like the mid shaft hair. Again, this is a little bit longer. And I'm just going to take another, like, kind of like a small section. That's definitely the trick is to do smaller sections. So you don't overwhelm how big the iron is. And you guys see like I don't take it all the way down. I stop. At about here because I want my very ends to be straight that's just how I like my hair to look so I stop at about like about a quarter of the way down the hair so only up from here up is actually curled and this right here is straight and that's just how I like to do it I'm gonna take one more section And I'm going to stop right about here so there's some hair hanging out and I'm going to let it go. And there you go. Okay, I'm going to quickly do the other side and the rest of this section and I'll come back and do the top section with you guys. So I have the last part down and we're just going to go and go in. I'm going to take this front section here and again so around this part I really try to get it super close to the scalp whenever I'm doing it because it's going to give you more volume that way and I also sometimes like to hold the curl and let the curl dry I mean well not dry um cool down like like holding it like this and then when you let it go the curl actually stays so much better so I'm doing it from about like the scalp and pulling it up I'm taking it from getting as close to the scalp as I can and pulling it up And that gives it that volume in the back that we're always wanting, right? So this method just lasts, this method is really fast. And I highly suggest if you're going to wear your hair curly, to just do it the night before and sleep in a scrunchie. And then um, your style will be a lot, it'll be more maintained that way. You can pretty much take it out and you'll have those like nice beachy curls. And if there's some like spots that are like not like curled really well, you could just go through and spot curl them the next morning. Instead of doing like your whole head, obviously. So, that is pretty much one section done. I'm going to go and do the other side. Well, I'll show you guys. Again, on this side here, that I have the barrel facing upwards. And then I flip it. Just on my left side, I don't know why. It feels more natural to do it that way for me. But it does. Just do whatever feels more natural for you. Again, like it's gonna take probably some time. You're probably not gonna be used to how it feels, but it's it does, it is something that's really easy to get the hang of, I think. So anyway, that is how I curl it, but I wanted to share with you guys, um, a few of my styling products that I use. So this one right here is the Sexy Hair Texture um, High Tide Finishing Spray. 
So one of the first things I noticed about this was the smell. It smells so good. It smells like the beach and who doesn't want to smell like sunscreen and coconuts and happy times. Um, but it smells really good. It adds enough grit to your hair but without making it feel crunchy. That's another thing. I don't ever want to have my hair feel like really crunchy and gross. This one doesn't do that, but it does give you enough of that grit to get a style and to hold a style that you want. So I'll take this usually in these like curls and I'll kind of like scrunch it up and up here, putting it up here, you can get a lot more volume as you can see. And that just adds like lots and lots of volume. It's really, it's a really easy style. It's super, I feel like really effortless and definitely a style that works for, I feel like winter, summer and fall. Like it doesn't really matter. The style I think always looks really good and it's really easy to accomplish. So another thing, if you really are wanting to hold your curls, I use this right here. This is the Perfect Hold Volumizing Hairspray from Goldwell. It is a very sticky hairspray though. So it is really going to hold your curls. It's going to last a long time. Another thing you guys is I don't like harsh smelling hairsprays. So you'll notice like with this one here for instance, it smells really good and that's a big reason is why I like it. This one also does not have a really intense smell, but it does a really good job. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this in. It helps keep your curls for a long time. Another thing is, I mean, you could obviously tease this and it would look so good, but I don't always like to tease my hair. I feel like it's really time consuming. And I just don't really feel like doing it today, but you totally could tease this and make it look even bigger, which I would do sometimes, but today, again, like I just don't really want to, but these products really do help add that volume and that grit so that you don't always have to tease it. It still looks really voluminous and really cute. And also the fact that I have a lot of layers in my hair, that also helps um, add a lot of volume. So my hair is not actually very heavy and weighed down by the fact. And the layers just help give it that volume. So if you're going to do like a hairstyle, um, any hairstyle really, and one of your complaints is that your hair seems really flat all the time, definitely consider asking for some layers that will help add like that volume to your hair. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have new content just about every single week, hopefully. Um, but yes, I love you. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.